What's up everybody? Thanks for joining us and welcome back. Today is going to be a day to remember because hopefully we'll be able to put this thing on the ground and see if it rolls. In the last video we left off of putting basically everything together on the car. We also bled the brakes, bled the clutch, filled up the coolant, oil change, and transmission fluid, mounted all the suspension, and we actually got it to start for the very first time and it sounded amazing. But there's a huge fuel leak going on, so we're gonna need to address that first. So I'm gonna pop off this lid and see what's going on. But before we do that, let's eat some sushi and celebrate the car's first start. Well, these are both tight. I guess we have to prime it and just see where it's coming from. When you're working on your fuel lines, it's a good idea to mark which line came off of which side. So I'm just gonna paint this one blue for now, just so I know the left side goes back to the left side. Mixing those up is not fun to diagnose. <laughs> I decided to do a quick visual inspection under the car and look what I found. This hose has a hole in it, it looks like. It's just so dry rotted, it needs to be replaced regardless. But just to confirm the leak, I'm still gonna prime it just for a second and see if the fuel comes out of that hose. Well, I'm kind of shocked, but it is not leaking now. Oh, actually, it is leaking right here. Well, looks like we need to go on a parts run. But let's take the hose off first so we can bring it to the store to get the correct diameter and length. Oh, it would appear to me that 30 year old dry rot is in full effect. This is like almost plastic. Hose acquired. Now you just trim it down the size and just slap it on there. I went ahead and changed the other line while I was at it. Got everything finished up. So now I want to mount my steering wheel, which I'm very excited. I love this wheel so much. A light wood grain on chrome. And all it says on the front is cost. It's got like patent numbers and some Japanese stickers, but super cool wheel. Haven't really found another one because I wanted to get a cleaner one just because this one's getting pretty worn out. I'm sure driving in the rain didn't help with that. I haven't checked the clearance with the hood and the radiator yet. I had an issue with this before because the water neck sits so high up that it actually was hitting. It's just barely hitting. Try to leave a little indent. Right there. Perfect. At this point, all I have left to do is put on the front bumper and some wheels. But I just remembered I don't have all of my wheels here. There's some missing. So let's go pick those up real quick. All right, we have made it to Nate's house. And if you guys have seen the 300ZX video, you know where my other wheels went for my 240. They're on the Z. I just picked up the Z and I'm still looking for an engine for it. And it was an auto tan interior car. And yes, I do not like tan interior, but there it is. Blah, blah, blah. Here's my wheels. And these wheels look super good on here. Now I couldn't find the brackets to mount the bumper, so I just used some nuts and bolts. So hopefully I can figure out a way to make the extensions fit. So it looks so off without them. I guess zip ties will save the day. Okay, we have all the wires tucked away. All the panels are mounted. Hood is clearanced. That should do it. Got the extensions on. Oh man, this is looking sick. Let's put these wheels on.
Before I put on this front wheel, I just remembered I haven't verified if the power steering is good or not. Looks like the fluid is a little low, but I still want to turn it on first before I put a whole bunch of new fluid in here. And it's pretty crazy. This is the min and this is the max. That's your only tolerance. This is the power steering switch. Okay, you heard it turn on. It has a slight delay and that's just how it is from the factory. Let's just verify we have no leaks. So far, so good. Okay, let's do it again. This time we'll attempt to bleed it. And basically the way that you bleed it is you turn the wheel all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and that will fill all the space in the rack. <laughs> the love tire is rubbing so bad. I can just hear it from here. That's not good. No leaks. Superb. Let's check the rear. No leaks. So I'm just gonna top this fluid off. Let's take a look at that wheel rub. The downfall. I need to beat this in or cut it out. And this pump just takes Dexron 3, which is what's recommended for the power steering from the factory on the S chassis. And if you're interested in doing this in your car or interested in the power steering setup, I made an entire video about how I did it, how it performs. I'll be sure to attach that video if you want to check it out. Now I should mention this is not the typical tire size I run, which is probably why it's rubbing so bad. Not to mention it's super out of alignment and nothing has been hammered in. I do have this smaller tire on this wheel, but this tire is absolutely trashed. But it's not like we're going far, so maybe I'll just put this on for now. That way I can at least steer it. Well, there's definitely a lot more space in here now. This tire is just massive. Now that we have all the wheels on, I can put the car on the ground. Before I do that, I want to verify one last time that our fuel system is not leaking because we have not verified that yet. Sweet. Perfecto. We're all good. Wow. This looks incredible. I don't have a full exhaust on it. It's just the downpipe because I couldn't find one in time. So I am still looking for one, but that's all right. Shall we try out our new jack point? It is officially on the ground. That looks insane. Oh my gosh. It feels so short now. What the heck? Oh man, I am so excited, holy crap. This looks so sick. Everything just came together. All right, let's pull it out. This is it, the first test drive. Let's hope we make it off the driveway. <laughs> feels so good to be behind this wheel again. So I guess the next few clips are gonna be special effects. Because see, nothing nothing actually works. It's just, it's just set up to look like it does. All right, we'll turn the special effects on right now. So 
turntables work. Headlights work. All right, here we go. police station. <laughs> no cops? What? <laughs> this thing is sick. It's running absolutely flawless. The car drives way better than it did before also. Like it hits boost so fast. I had to like baby throttle it like otherwise it just I don't know I'm I still I'm still in the braking phase for the clutch plus I'm not trying to beat on it and really push it with it in this condition I'm just trying to just cruising around having a good time you know nothing crazy I just figured it'd be ironic to take it to the police station that's all <laughs> Everything's looking good too. Temperature's fine. The air fuel is a little bit on the lean side, but close enough. Vacuum is perfect at 20. Voltage, 13.7, that's good. It's just absolutely crazy to me to look at this thing and it be straight. I just, I can't believe how far this has come. This looks incredible. 
can't wait to put the quarter panel on. That's that's next. I gotta put the quarter panel on. Oh man, that'd be so good. Well, before I pull it back in, I kind of want to sweep this area just a little bit. Oh, that is a beautiful sunset. Oh my goodness. Anyways, as I was saying, got to clean this up because this is a mess. Feels so empty in here, but that looks awesome out there. The number one most important thing that I want to mention in this video, it's the only thing you take away from it, is that during that test drive, it felt like the same car. It felt like my car. And that was the whole point of all of this, is not getting a new shell, not getting a new car, no fresh starts, but keeping the story alive. When I was driving it, it felt like the exact same car. That's all I could ask for. Like, I'm so happy right now. It's insane. <laughs> now it's just the little stuff, you know what I mean? And it's funny that I can say a oh, quarter panel is the little stuff and a cage is the little stuff, but that is a lot easier than assembling an entire car and making the engine bay from scratch also and driving across the country for all the parts. Oh, what a journey this has been. This is so exciting. This is, this is what I live for. Like, straight up, this is what it's all about. And people that say I do this for clout, they just don't get it. Like, they, they can't. They, there's no way they can understand it if they think I'm doing this for clout. I'm doing this for me because I like doing it. That's it. But I don't want to make it seem like it's about the haters. It's about everyone because this is just how it works. If someone's getting a lot of attention or a lot of love, there's going to be hate that comes with it. It's just... It's gonna happen that way. We're all just tiny specks of dust on a floating rock in space. Just enjoy the passing of time. That is the easiest way to explain the meaning of life. Enjoying the passing of time. <sighs> well, sorry I'm going off on you guys. I'm just, I'm feeling up here right now. You know what I mean? That was quite the experience. And I am so thrilled that it went flawlessly. There was no weird noises, no creaks. No hesitation in the motor, no misfire. Everything was perfect, except for the alignment, which I mean, it's gonna be. I just put two different tire sizes on the front. So good. I can't oh, believe sorry. what we just witnessed. It was a very <laughs> surreal experience driving here and watching that car. <laughs>